Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the infamous chainsaw katana. This chainsaw katana is very awesome. It goes, uh, it does a lot of damage against undead. 25% against damage, or let me rephrase that, 25% uh, more damage to the undead when equipped. So imagine you were using undead slave and this chainsaw katana. It will be pretty much unstoppable. So you want to go and kill the zombie dragon here. He has the chance of dropping the Chainsaw Katana. The Chainsaw Katana is um, an AC version, so you can always just leave it in your bank forever and ever and, you know, forever after. And you will pretty much never use it unless you're battling through Undead. But, you know, it's very useful once you're battling, you know, stuff that, well, pretty much Undead. Sort of like the, you know, uh, let's see, the Necromancer Saga or whatever, you know, whenever you're using that. Something like Forger who's undead. It, it will come in useful very much indeed. So just go ahead and kill the zombie dragon at Jarkovia Horde. Um, you know, it shouldn't be too hard to kill the zombie dragon. You can pretty much solo it if you're level 65 and have a very OP class. But if you are around level 45, go ahead and get a group of people to form with. But uh, yeah, King Sagatana, it's a very cool weapon. You can get it now. It's gonna go rare, obviously, because of OPness. So you might as well get it now. It's not gonna take any space in your inventory. It's gonna stay away in your bank. So if you guys enjoyed this video tutorial, if you guys can leave a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, well, I can't really say anymore. <laughs>